Bobino Productions. My name is Bill Robertson, and you might know me better as Dr. Skateboard. Welcome to Dr. Skateboard's Action Science, a video series that explores the physics of skateboarding. In this video segment, High Jumping Hippie Style, you will learn about the physics associated with this trick and how you can use science to help perform this maneuver. So let's get jumping and learn about science. The hippie jump is also known as the high jump where a rider moves along the ground to leap off the board over an obstacle. At the same time, the skateboard goes under the obstacle and the two join up on the other side. In order for the rider to actually make this work out, both the rider and the board have to be traveling at the same relative horizontal velocity. A longer skateboard is something riders may use because it allows for a bigger landing area. It also helps the rider because it allows you to go in a straight line at a constant speed. A good technique is to go at a moderate speed in a straight line and try to get ready before you jump over the obstacle. It can be helpful to position your feet towards the back of the board and to use the stability of the trucks to act as a point of lift as you push off the board to jump. As you approach the obstacle, bend your knees and drop your arms in order to ready yourself to leap into the air. As you leap in a vertical direction, it is important not to jump backward or forward, but to follow a simple parabolic motion up and over the obstacle. Finally, as you reach the other side, spread your legs and get into a normal riding stance as you place your feet squarely back on the board. As with most tricks, gravity is something you have to deal with. Gravity is the downward pull exerted by an object due to their masses. In order to overcome the force of gravity, a skateboarder must exert an upward force of lift. A skater doing a hippie jump has to push down with his legs in order to propel himself up and over the barrier. Additionally, a skateboarder must have enough forward thrust to also keep a constant horizontal velocity and overcome any effects of friction. To make a hippie jump a success, a skateboarder has to overcome gravity with lift and friction with thrust, all the while keeping the horizontal velocity constant. The trick is for the rider to jump vertically and to extend your arms in order to jump in a straight line. If the rider jumps in a horizontal direction forward, the board will shoot backwards. If the rider jumps in a horizontal direction backwards, the board will shoot forward. Since gravity pulls the rider in a vertical direction, this becomes, in physics terms, projectile motion. For the trick to be a success, the horizontal velocity of both the rider and the skateboard stay relatively the same value. The air resistance on the rider and the friction acting on the wheels is low, so these forces in effect don't slow the rider or the board down. As a result, the velocity of the board is approximately the same as the horizontal velocity of the rider. This allows the skateboarder to land back on the board and for the trick to be a success. A skateboarder performing a high jump or a hippie jump can do it with style and have a lot of fun too. In terms of the science, gravity exerts a downward force and lift is the upward force that opposes the direction of gravity. In the hippie jump, the skateboarder has to overcome gravity with lift and friction with thrust. The hippie jump is another great example of the essence of flight, where a rider must lift himself to jump over the obstacle. Abano Production.